Hey people, injured here, 2v2, Medine Cliff Myers, blue team. We've got Deja Vu plays a force commander, very good offense fight in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. This is the Blood Ravens, so I think veterans of Ace sense that gold helmet alongside Hive Minion is a big stompy hive tight, very durable commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed on good offense, disruption and support begins in melee combat. With that basic synapse red team, it's Freeman 1800 as a Lord General fights range combat, really good defense and support capabilities and beginners with this retinue of stormtroopers to help him out which you can add to throughout the game and rounding off the teams is Garethos as a warlock melee commander that leaps into combat very good disruption mobility and can tank pretty good too versatile little annoying Eldar guy he's up against the Pyre of Tyrant towards the north of the map there's a destructor on the termagants going straight after them obviously both the commanders are avoiding each other that's because they both want to inflict economic damage on their enemy by taking out those models that then need to be reinforced and Banshee is going off the Hormogorts in the background catching them as they in turn charge down the Dire Avengers is a bad engagement for the Hormogorts and indeed they do need to run away lost two models no grenades up yet for that retreat and there's a good special attack from the Hive Tyrant is going straight for Rendin Talons and that's bad news for those Banshees if he can get it up in time looks like he will be able to and he will have the energy to use it bang there it is the seismic roar knockback and damage over time and these are a pretty nasty melee weapon but he needed to use that to run away he's gonna go down got greedy tried to wipe the squad should have used the seismic roar to retreat out and banshees take him down get a bunch of xp and get away with two models so frantic opening in the north let's look at the south guardsman pushing forward alongside that sentinel really good in a 2v2 or 3v3 to allow your double guardsman to push alongside it as he's done here against a single tactical marine opening it's pretty strong especially if you're not up against the tech marine you can shoot it down and there's a devastators to make everything flee force commander himself is chasing things down look at this guy go Killing Garden with his chainsword and bolt pistol, 40 DPS near enough from his chainsword, his default one, 39 point something something. Double Dire Avengers, one of them has the aspect, so they have grenades, shields, health increase and fleet. What an amazing upgrade this is. Hive Minion with a Warrior Brood on the field. We'll see, I assume he's going to get the Barb Strangler, but it's risky because of that pesky Warlock who can just leap into you from miles out, doesn't care if you put down your bilious discharge as a plague champion, just jumps over it, doesn't care if you try and shoot a bar strength at him, he will jump on your face. Double termigrants, no sign of crippling poison from the toxin sats. Oh there we go, there's one. I assume we're gonna see double of these. Why are they getting so close? Just begging to be grenaded here. Maybe he's trying to bait it out, but no sign of it. Use this energy to build this energy field there's a destructor. Banshees are forced to retreat now. He's going to chase down these Dire Avengers. Warlock retreats, as does the Dire Avengers. And he inflicted some good damage there. He needed 60 energy to throw that grenade. 472. 472 is evened up on VPs. 1 to 1. And we have Flame Attack to the Marines. They're going to want to bash that power, and they might have already. There's not even a node on it right now. Here comes a heavy weapon squad with a heavy bolter of its own. Can also get that awesome refractor field. And this is a stomp from the Sentinel. There it is. Stun. Knock back in a little bit of damage. I think 20 damage or so. And these guys will sit up and suppress this Devastator squad. Yes. That will most likely force it off. But you might be ballsy here. And just try and set up and hold this little lane. Or maybe even set up to defend the power. Flame of Guardsman moving in. They get three in the squad I think. Yes. Is it? Or is it two? Looks like it's two, in fact. And they're bashing power. There is the Lord General. I haven't seen him at all. He's capping mid. He's lost both of his retinue members. Devastate in trouble. Flanked by the Sentinel. And that cover was not helping him versus the Sentinel. Cover is directional. And here are some assault marines to cause all sorts of problems to Freeman's army. There's a jump. Disruption on two of the squads. And they will easily force off this heavy weapon squad you would think so he's going to need to keep 
is Sentinel close by for that stomp. He might get some pathogens up, we will see. Might get another heavy weapon squad. 453, 468. The Hive Tyrant is still down. Deja Vu needs to make a run up here and revive. That will also level him to 2. He levels to 2 anyway. So, yeah, now's a good time to do it now that he's pushed him off and doesn't need the full squad to bash power here. He's got that flame up. Tactical Marines down to two models, but they're not too bothered. And it's the Merciless Switchblade. And Warrior Brew do not like that. They're back at base of one model. They are detector unit with heavy infantry armor that can jump into combat, but it's it's not a good environment for them with those howling banshees there and that warlock with merciless switchblade. Hive Tyrant has been repurchased, so I think yes. And he's going mid. Yes, your lane. Power's being hit. Shields are up. He's going to go for a big giant flank. They can sometimes do a Median. Looks like he's just ignoring it for now. I don't think they had any generators up here, so... It's, I mean, it's not good to get your power decap, but it's a lot better if they didn't take down a bunch of generators as well. You do have triple gens here, and they're capping up in the mid. And he still hasn't lost a squad. So he's still well within his power to take back that lane. Here are the Catechon Devils, very versatile infantry squad for Imperial Guard. Can disrupt from range, can counter melee squads, can put down an improvised explosive with a demolition mount, which they are purchasing, and can support with a smoke grenade. They do require you to use all of those abilities at the right time though, so do put extra micro pressure on the player. And when you're managing a sentinel with repairs and stuff, it can prove too much for some players, and there's the jump. His catechins in all sorts of trouble. He's going to lose them immediately before they did a single thing. Wow, massive, massive loss for Freeman. There's a stomp. They jumped out of it. Beautifully done. Assault Marines going absolutely ballistic. Going to hit level 2, I think. 350, 468. I hear Tyrion is dying. Or not. Warriors haven't lost the model here. Pretty lucky not to do so. Hormogorts in retreat path of the Dire Avengers. Can they get another model? Chomp, 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 chomp. No, they can't. 3, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. Go bash power, little Hormogorts. Or cap this. Don't decap the VP. Well done. VP is not that important right now. So what is Freeman going to do? That must have been, must have been swearing at his monitor there. Or her monitor there. Whatever it may be. Scout setting up for some shots. Boom. That Sentinel is going to be in trouble soon. Really nice build for Deja Vu. Devastators, Assault Marines, double sniper scouts alongside that force commander who can buff damage of course with the battle cry is starting ability. Talk of his sacred standard which is a tier 3 war gear which constantly buffs nearby allies being moved into tier 2 which is going to be awesome for him. Sets up some nasty combos with battle cry and for the Emperor's global jump from the assault marines jumping those poor little guards when you don't want to fight them at all and they run away immediately 340 456 stomp only hits one of the scouts but they are being flamed down and these guys are regular infantry so flame has hurt them pretty badly 340 456 by regular infantry i mean they are not heavy infantry such as these assault marines with their power armor and he's devastated indeed. Deja Vu, I've just realised, has lost his tactical marines. So, yeah, that kind of even things up a bit when you take into account that Catechon lost. Just didn't occur to me that he lost them. I did see them with two models. It looks like here is the Flamer model that went down at some point. Maybe the Catechons got them before they went down. So that would have been a decent trade. Decent trade. Catechons cost you power, but those guys did have a 20 power flamer. Is it 20 power? I think it is. It was 15 for a while. Hawk Warriors in retreat path. They're going to finish off those guards when he has not spotted it. Now he does, but it's too late. Head Weapon Squad on their face with the Heavy Bolter. And they're taking a lot of damage. Warriors are a Synapse creature, so when they die, they will explode, which knocks back and damages all non Synapse creatures for Tyranids. Including commanders, right? And that will also affect those Termagants and Hormagants. Tyrant Guard on the way for Hive Minion. He does often go double Tyrant Guard. We might see that here. 
and a Wraith Guard squad on the field of Karyatos. Karyatos, I should say, sorry. And they don't want to fight this Tyrant Guard. Certainly not. Kind of a short range artillery squad. Really good damage to all targets. They also suppress infantry with their shots and can't be suppressed themselves, which is very useful for this marching up the turrets and set up teams and blasting away. Wow, their Warlock leader also has a knockback, as you saw there. Never really took that into account when considering Wraith God, but there you saw it. Doing a great job on the Force Commander. They are very vulnerable to melee. And more power harass from Garethos. He's got this lockdown. Where's that turret guard? There it is. 2,500 solid hit points of super heavy infantry armor. Need synapse for this little speed boost that you're seeing here. Once it's out of synapse, it's very slow and vulnerable. Has a charge and a shield ward, which takes it into vehicle armor mode, locks it down into place, and gives it some health regen. So some decent survivability if you can keep it in synapse. You've not seen any capillary towers that I've spotted from Five Minion. You do need a bit of map presence to begin with to make those capillary towers work for you, or they'll just instantly get shot down. Sentinel has its very powerful missile launcher and is a Razorback from Deja Vu in Tier 2. Support vehicle for Space Marines allows you to reinforce and transport allied infantry. You see the assault marines getting right in there. Sentinel still lives. It's a, it was risky to give this guy the missile launcher with those double scout snipers still around. Confident he can look after it. And here comes Hive Minion with a flank there. He split his forces, which is always very useful if you can pull it off. He's going to bash one of the generators. Here comes Garethos with his entire army. Has some warp spiders on the way. Does the Haywire grenade work on the Tyrant Guard? I always forget. I think, I think it, yeah, it must. Because the melter bomb works, doesn't it? And that will shut it down completely, I assume. We will see. Warp spiders on the field. Warp throw attempt, but they retreated out of it. Does not affect retreating units. Five, the five turrets got down. Gone down, I should say. Turret guard takes out a wraith guard model, but it's being shot to pieces by this auto cannon. And a very powerful weapon. It is good damage to all targets small area of effect not quite as powerful as the oh that was a tower not quite as powerful as the chaos havoc version which is absolutely outrageously powerful but this heavy weapon squad can get the refractor field also has access to a lot more buffs in the ig army in general 330 354 snipers getting shots off we have plasma gun guardsmen the sentinel has gone down incidentally and freeman all of a sudden looking quite thin Deja Vu not pushing. Looks like he might be in fact. The Salt Marines do have their sergeant. I hear the Banshees screaming. Going after the Warriors. Wow, I'm really surprised he kept these guys in their melee state and did not get to strangle it in tier 1. That's the Distort Field Global on the Banshees. They're level 3, these ladies. You see the Tyranid base turrets. And they will knock down anything, these base turrets, even Terminators. Warrior Brood down to two models. Does not have the original lands, does not have Barb Strangler, and they are just getting chopped down by those Banshees at will. This complete tower will go down, gives you a bunch of XP to see if it levels. Whoa, level 3 Dire Avengers. That's the Basilisk Creeping Barrage from Freeman. One of his globals. Very, very good disruption. Very good disruption. Is he putting up a heavy turret here? Wow, that is a ballsy move. He wants to hit that Razorback as it comes back to base. We'll see if it pays off for him. Incredibly powerful turret. And it's, whoa, wipes out those Devastators. You saw the power of that thing. That Vanquisher Cannon does big damage in a very small area. Just saw it quite luckily taking out both of those Devastator models. And we see the Medical Officer uh, what's he called? Medical Sergeant or something? Retinue member on the Lord General can hand out medical packs. 310, 352, the Hive Tyrant still down. Is he being revived? No, he's not. Oh, the Force One is just looking at him. Disappointingly, and here come Assault Marines. Razorback did go down incidentally to that heavy turret. Really good place for this thing. He's demolishing Marines and Razorbacks left and right. Cuts out of the retreat with the Commissar Execute there and comes back into play. Nicely done. 
Wow, that heavy turret is a pain in the ass, and it's gone. Oh, it's gone for the executioner because that rapid firing plasma cannon. This thing incidentally has vehicle armor, not building armor, so you need anti vehicle weapons to take it down. So, stuff like flamers don't do anything to it. Wherein, if it was a building, yeah, you would own it. Assault race jumping in. Did not reinforce all their models, but even in its weakened state, they are more than a match for double guardsmen there. Lord General wane in a little bit with some melee damage. He's now got the Vox Operator, the least seen retinue member. That guy can actually call in reinforcements onto the field for a wreck cost. Does it cost anything else? I'm not sure. You see it so rarely. 246, 352. Deja vu now with just assault marines and double scouts. What is he going to do? Triple cap for red. Look at a turnaround for Freeman, all thanks to this heavy turret. Amazing stuff. Got his auto cannon mid, but Force Commander's got his eye on them. No war game for this guy. Level 4 though, done well. Bolt pistol shot bang. What are these guys up to? 209352. Middle inside. The entire map is red. Apart from the natural powers and the wreck points, these guys should be capping. Warlock might go down. High of Tyrant going after him, I think. Level 2 with those Rendon Talons. Smack. One more hit and he'll go down. He's got two hit points. He's trying to get away, but he can't. Banshee's running riot. Absolutely running riot. He still has no upgrades for this Warrior Brood. The Tyrant God has gone down. And that's a massive mistake, I think. Should have got the Barb Strangler for those Warriors. And he's going to lose the High of Tyrant. Not looking good on that side for High of Minion. Lots and lots of Eldar stuff to deal with. Warlock did go down though. So there is that, but he's getting his power bashed again. We've got Melter Guns on Lord General. I suppose he's got that more for the buff fight harder. Heavy Turret does eventually go down, but so does the Force Commander. And it's tier 3 for Freeman. Oh, whoa! Terminator's on the field for Deja Vu. There we go. Super Heavy Infantry has gone for the ranged variety with Storm Bottles and Power Fists. I say that because the Force Commander can get Assault Terminators or Terminator Assault Squad, as they're called. The only commander that can get them. 107352. It's a double cap and these bashing gens of Storm Bottles. Meanwhile, North kicking off. This Warrior Brood is still going at level 2 in their default state. Very rare that you see a Warrior Brood in a default state for this long. I mean, he's in tier 3 with default warriors from tier 1, that's amazing, he's got a carnifix on the way obviously thinking that this is more important to get on the field I have time, needs a revive, but so does the force commander so who's gonna pay it, nobody wants to pay it nobody can pay it we've got heavy flamer terminators this thing hurts a lot, as you would expect is he gonna try and tie it up, he teleports in for cleansing flame, there it is and Garthman just get massacred if he stayed there for a few seconds longer, he would have lost both squads completely. And he executes out of retreat and goes face to face with the Famer again. 76, 344. Four. Terminators can't retreat and they've already used their teleport, so need to be a little bit careful. What is this? Lehman Russ? It is a Lehman Russ. Are these Terminators going to get chased down? Bang, there's that front mounted last kind of getting a shot in 76. 335 Hive Minion has a Carnifex, a game changer unit if there ever was one. Starts off in melee combat but can get various upgrades, all of them awesome, and he's gone for the Thorn Pack. Makes it even tougher and gives it a melee charge, which is pretty nasty. Takes it up to 1875 hit points, which is going to be toned down in a future update. We'll also get a population decrease to counteract that balance change a little bit. There's the Haywire, which has shut down this kind of but it can still move barely, but it can't attack. Very powerful ability, the Haywire Grenade. Rippers spawned, that's thanks to the Fawn back, and Eldar run away. This kind of is going to do a lot for him. Big splash damage, that very dangerous charge, and now the Warriors do have their Adrenal Glands. Capillary Tower goes up mid. Force Command is still down, as is the Hive Tyrant, and doesn't look like Freeman wants to push. There is a last cannon for Deja Vu. 
lots of red for Hive Minions, so he can drop a nuke. Garethos with a late Guardian Weapon Team with that Bright Lance to try and take down that Carnifex. It does have vehicle armor, even though it will slowly regenerate health. You can't repair it though, it's a monstrous creature. Where its carap is so thick, it's considered a vehicle in terms of damage. Wow, that cleansing flame is nasty and was that, a, I don't think it was a little charge. He could have charged through those guys and maybe even finished them off. Melter Bomb on the way for the Assault Squad but they don't have it yet. Carnifex trying to flank around, trying to slow down that vehicle with a capillary towel or put it down in the wrong place. He's chasing it down. Surely it will get away though, 76 to 262. Can he get that Melter Bomb off in time? There's the Melter, but he doesn't want to chase. Really risky to chase, he's going for it though. Hive Minion going all in to take this tank out. Double guard and repair. No, he doesn't use the repair. Down goes the Lehman Rust, not sure if it would have made a difference, but that's a big loss for Freeman. And a good push by a blue team. Do the Assault Marines get away? They do not. 72-62, so Deja Vu now very thin. They need to transition mid if they can, but it's risky because Freeman can just push south again. Deja Vu has very little to stop him. Has the Terminators, which have lost the model, and that's an expensive reinforcement. 100 rec, 25 power, I believe. And Devastators with a LAS cannon, which is not going to do a whole lot because there's no other vehicles on the field. Carnifex in a bit of trouble, taking shots from Wraith Guard, and there's a Melter Gun Lord General chasing it down. Oh, Toronto Formation went off, as you can see. Carnifex does live, needs to get it back to base so it can heal up. Terminators, it's 150 25, so even more of a drain. Seismic Roar used in a bad place. Level 3 Hive Turret taking hits from an auto cannon. What is he up to? 43 262. Has he forgotten about his Hive Turret here? Gonna lose him. There's a special attack, but down goes the Hive Tyrant. 43-262. A late Warrior Brood. He might have called that in for reinforcements of his global bar. Oh, Hive Minion tapped out. That is a pro move. Next level play. Hormagaunt's going to cap or decap. They have their adrenal glands. Assault squad pushing bottom. That flamer is just so scary. It's countering half of Freeman's army now. And is another Lehman Russ out of the HQ this time, I believe. 43, 248. Instantly gets elite tank crew. So, yeah. He should have got some Kasukun, I think. He's paying it into the hands of Deja Vu with this last cannon. Some Kasukun with plasma guns buffed by the Lord General. Might have been very nasty. He's going for a Chimera also. Warrior Brood coming mid, getting shot to ribbons. He's got double Adrenal Gland Warriors. Why does he not get the Barb Strangler? Does he not like it? 38 2 4 8. Blue team, a little bit of desperation here since they're so low on BPs. Here comes that Carnifex. Not fully healed up, but healed up a bunch. There's Warrior Brood still chasing stuff. There's Wraith Guard. Here comes Deja Vu stuff. Big engagement mid. Let's get rid of that UI. Uh, the Lehman Russia says they not looted tank should be shooting at that Carnifex ideally but it's being chased back by the Terminators with their power fists are a threat Assault Squad goes down does it? 11 hit points, 10 hit points it lives here comes the Chimera now Terminators, did they use their teleport or can they, or can they teleport back here? Plasma Cannon on the way for Deja Vu I'm sure Hive Mini would love a Barb Stranger Carnifex right about now or a Venom Cannon, but it just doesn't have the resources. Autark dropped in by Garethos. 35 248. Terminator is using their Cleansing Flame. He must have the Teleporter. There's an Orbital. Yes, Teleport goes off. These guys now very low, and there's Providence up on the Warlock. Makes him invulnerable to damage for a short time and loads of other benefits but there's the orbital bombardment going off I assume everything got inside the Chimera and drove away 
now these terminators need to be very careful look how low these guys are on hit points a thousand hit points for a terminator squad is low 29 248 super heavy infantry armor so they will be taking extra damage from these plasma guns there's a really good plasma cannon hit covering the vp there a heal goes off a medipack given to them by the sergeant the medical sergeant from the lord general oh down goes the chimera nicely done by that last cannon 29 241 now they can't reinforce off the chimera and he's forced off retains his vp there well done to deja vu here comes five minion i have tried level five I'm gonna try and cap mid 29 234 fine effects eating a dire avenger not too tasty throws it aside what are these termigans up to are they trying to tie up the wraith god but he loses them all here comes his melee force of double adrenal gland warriors and melee synapse swarmagons up to 1295 hit points wraith guard trying to finish off that carnifex there's a warp throw into trouble into grenades maybe no ripper swarms helped him out there big time because that wraith guard we're just about to get a volley on that warp throw blob of melee stuff something's dying that's the force commander down he goes x or the autog i should say lives has her executioner spear 65 power melee DPS, not bad. 29, 184, triple cap for blue. Frantic, frantic stuff. What is this? That's a brood nest up there. Might get one mid if there's another big fight. As a cannon is covering mid in a bit of a weird way. Could move forward a little bit, I think, and cover it a bit better. Just about covering the VP, but it needs line of sight for that thing to fire, unless you just use ground targeting, of course. Boom. 29, 154, knocks them, no it doesn't knock them off the cap. Terminator's moving in, there's that cleansing flame on the VP, and here's a bunker from Freeman. He can upgrade this to be a medical bunker to reinforce infantry, or a repair bunker to repair allied vehicles. And he's got a manticore as well, so he's set up pretty nicely to hold mid. And it might, this is going to be tricky for Blue Team, really tricky. Tricky is an understatement, I think. Here comes the Lehman Rice pushing against the setup teams. That's kind of will turn. Terminators do not want to risk teleporting in. No way. Would be madness. But they do. I suppose it's desperation. They've got 10 VPs left. Just trying to stop the cap here. Hive Minion is capping top. Or is he? He's not doing it. Mid is uncapped, so it is the one to one. Terminator's been chased down by a very ballsy Autark, and she takes a model out. They turn to engage her with their power fists and it should deal with her. She takes another model out. I have Tyrant trying to cap with the bonded exoskeleton. This Autark is heroic. Does she live though? 46 hit points. She does live. Almost wet. Those Terminators Hive Minion is capping the top. And the kind effects is level 2. There's a rocket run. Onto, ouch, some of his allied Eldar units. But a acceptable losses as an Imperial Guard Lord General that's a magical strike on the wall plaza cannon and they are knocked out whacked out I should say by the initial rocket of the four rocket barrage oh look at this force commander terminator going for the VP four one four six top is still blue paling banshee's not capping really not capping this warlock is such a pain in the ass with that merciless switchblade. I think it, I think it's 75 DPS. This thing. It hurts a lot. Four one. Th uh, maybe 65 or something. Four one thirty. But it's like 130 damage per hit. So you get those big chunks of damage coming off your units when they're hit by it. Terminator force point trying to cap under heavy fire. The only Terminator that can retreat and he's pulled back into a singularity from a D cannon, I don't even know where that is, there it is, double cap for blue, desperate, desperate stuff, brood nest, allowing hive minion to hold the top and they have the double cap, Lehman Rust lives, auto cannon reinforcing off the medical bunker under attack from assault marines level 2, who are going to need to be so careful here, they need to run away, there we go, down goes the Lehman Rust though, last cannon, Gets a shot on rear armor, I think. That's a dead terminator. Just a glitch. Oh, the assault did not live. 
470 kicking off top big time fun effects continues to be a bit of a problem for Gary Thorson here comes a bright last and there is a haywire doesn't stop the charge but it will be unable to attack to attack for eight seconds or so now 460 there's the double for blue again I have Tyrant is mid does he try and cap or does he try and eat some guards when he's going for the meal here Wraith guard doing well level three they might finish off no nope. losing their warlock they are stunned and they're being tied up by rippers and here's some even even more rippers fun if it goes off to the manticore now can it there we go bang three hits he'll take it down bang manticore seems to be stuck unlucky for freeman are oh, we stuck on those rippers between the rippers and the and that cover which for some reason he couldn't destroy it might be un undestroyable by medium crush smack carnifex kind of going ballistic now level three though needs to run actually needs to run away because a wraith god might finish it off almost do so in one volley it's a no cap game there's a single it's so close four eight deja vu still has his terminator force commander still has his terminators that's a basilisk creeping barrage which hits nothing this terminator is going to try and cap now teleports into mix it up with his power fist another Lehman Russell I assume this was dropped in by Freeman Hive minions Carnifex is not gonna live much longer here comes Wraithguard and in fact a bright lance is setting up to finish it off bang down to nine hit points down to two and down goes that Carnifex which did a fantastic job for the Hive it's four three more warriors dropped in by Hive minions now got triple warriors Eldar shooting the crap out of them, but it might be too many for them to shoot down. There are some guardsmen here. A warrior brood is trying to cap its 4-3. There's a GG from Freeman. There's an Eldritch. Wipes out a warrior brood. Hive Minion has nothing left now, and there is surely the victory for Red Team down to the last man literally almost here the force monotone does get away just about wow gg for all players very entertaining stuff there's the two to one and a three nil victory at the end there so close goes to red team wow a few mistakes here and there but some really fun plays and lots of carnage was surprised that high opinion's usage of his warriors not getting that barb strangle early on and getting his adrenal guns very late that might have just been because he took so many losses and wanted to get to tier three quickly but yeah level six high of town at the end with bonded as a skeleton warp field and rendon talons you had a force commander terminator which shifts him over in the roster since it's a technically a new unit that hits the field so it goes on the end of the roster level five lord general he had melted guns not sure if he had anything else and a level 8 Warlock Merciless Switchblade Providence and Walkthrough. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.